to make this trap, I need a special plant, called Clematis vitolaba. This plant is grown in Europe, and its English common names are Old Man's Beard or Traveler's Joy. Since the Stone Age, the plant are already used for making ropes or baskets. Once set up, you should carry out a performance test. The detection and correction of faults is the objective in order to have an effective trap. That kind of trap work well when trying to catch ground feeding birds. Avoid erecting your clap trap in places where every bird can see them. In short, camouflage, conceal, hide or do whatever it takes to make the trap less visible. Your trap should be sighted against an appropriate background whenever possible. This will prevent the trap being outlined against the sky, water or field. Bear in mind that the view of a bird differs from what you see from the ground. Clap and sprung traps rely on a spring to throw a net over an area or close a door on a cage. Here I used bungee cord as a spring. Keep in mind, it is a survival trap. Necessarily primitive, but exactly therefore useful in situations when no adequate materials, like a net for example, are on hand. 